Hi everyone. Today, two films from Australian director Gregor Jordan. Now, Gregor Jordan was very fortunate to be able to work with the late Heath Ledger on two occasions. Um, one of those occasions was in the film Ned Kelly, which also starred Orlando Bloom. But significantly, for Gregor Jordan's very first movie in 1999, he worked with Heath Ledger on this film, Two Hands. And this is a really cracking film that's definitely worth checking out. It is an Australian film. You've got the strong Australian accents in this. Um, and uh, one of the main cast members here is the great Brian Brown as well. The film involves uh, Heath Ledger as a young guy who works as a strip club bouncer. And he gets the opportunity to be a courier for a local criminal played by Brian Brown. Um, but he botches the things up and he loses the money that he's given and some street kids take it. Um, and then he finds himself in this uh, desperate attempt to be able to try and recover the money before he gets killed by the gangsters. And he also meets a really lovely girl along the way. And that girl is played by Rose Byrne, who was also only about 19, 20 at the time. And wow, she is impossibly cute in this film. A uh, fantastic actress, Rose Byrne, who really is still trying to find the right role. I know she's in the Insidious movies and she gets put in lots of comedies. Um, but yeah, watch her performance in this. It is such a beautiful, uh, naive and vulnerable performance that she gives in two hands. Heath Ledger is just fantastic in this. Like I say, he's only about 19. This was made the same year um, that he did 10 Things uh, I Hate About You. Um, and yeah, it's just great to see him as this sort of young guy here who is uh, um, really trying to find his way uh, with recovering this money before um, he finds himself in a desperate situation. The humour in this is very Australian um, and it's very blunt, as is the violence. There's a lot of violence in this as well, which is quite jarring at times. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, definitely worth checking out uh, for being a great example of Australian cinema. And then Gregor Jordan has done a number of films in America as well. He also worked with Joaquin Phoenix uh, in Buffalo Soldiers. But another film that I saw recently is this one, which is Unthinkable, which stars Samuel L. Jackson, Carrie Ann Moss from The Matrix, and also Britain's own Michael Sheen here. Um, now this is a really interesting film that I'm not entirely sure it works properly, but uh, it's definitely intriguing. Basically we have Michael Sheen as an Islamic terrorist who has uh, allegedly planted three separate bombs in three different cities, and Carrie Ann Moss is the FBI agent who uh, wants to interrogate him and find out where the bombs are, uh, but Samuel L. Jackson is a more experienced type of rogue interrogator who has his own methods of uh, getting to the truth. And so what we have here is three characters in a sort of head-on battle of wits to be able to uh, work out if they can actually get information or reveal information. Um, now, again, some of the violence in this is very jarring. The purpose of the film is to make you think about what steps you would go to to be able to um, actually extract information from uh, a potential terrorist. It does have implausible moments, but uh, nonetheless, the cast make it interesting and so there we go, just two examples from movies from the Australian director, Gregor Jordan. Okay, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, please do join me again for some more videos. I hope to see you again. All the best to you. Bye-bye.